Hey guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Olua Tobi, and on this channel, we deal with food and lifestyle. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a ferrero and pounded potatoes. So, let's get into the video. <music> So for this recipe, you will need some vegetable, that's your ugu or uziza, pepper and tomato puree, onions, pomo, crayfish, iru, loco, that's locust beans of course, meat, smoked fish, all those blockage that you can use to make your soup look very attractive and, you know, very fun and interesting to eat. I don't know how soup can be fun to eat. Anyways, you get my gist. You also need some maggi, some salt, some... Uh, water palm oil as well as the potatoes this meal is actually commonly eaten in the southern west southwestern part of nigeria specifically in ofa kwara state so the first thing you need to do to prepare this um, recipe is to heat up the palm oil so in a pot on medium heat heat up the palm oil then you add in the diced um, onions then you add in your pepper, iru, and maggi, and some salt. And just let this cook for a little while, like for five minutes, until you see the, um, the stew begin to bubble to cook. Then you add in your crayfish as well. If you wish to follow the exact step in the video, that's fine. But I've also provided detailed um, procedures to make this particular recipe so after you've added in the pepper the iru and your crayfish you can also add in your maggi so you don't have to do it the way i say it in the video you can just follow the way i did in the video the video itself <laughs> i don't know if you understand what i'm saying anyways after that you can taste to see if you are satisfied with the seasoning and if you're not you can add in more salt or maggi but I was quite satisfied with the seasoning in this um, stew base. So basically, this is the stew base. So once it's ready, you can then go ahead to add in your meats. This soup recipe is actually very easy. Anybody could make it if you follow the directions below. So once you've added in the meats and all the things, all the condiments you want to put inside the stew, you cover the stew, the cover the pot rather, and let it boil for, or cook for maybe four to five minutes when that is well boiled or well cooked that's when the sauce and all of the seasoning has entered into the stew and also the meat you can then go ahead to add in your vegetable stir everything together then cover the pot and let it cook for about three minutes and your eforivo is ready Obviously, this also applies if you're using um, only fish and you're not using maybe chicken or meat or like assorted meat and all of that. You can also do the same process, it's just that you're going to just add in your fish where I added in the meat. So it's very easy to make. And then I think everything took about every, everything. What is that? Hi, English. Everything took about um, 10 minutes to cook. That's the cooking process, not the preparation process. What is process? Not the preparation. <laughs> not the preparation process. Ah, English. Guys, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel, share this video as well, and turn up your post notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Thank you very much. You could also go back to my other videos and do the same. God bless. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And also comment on what you would like to see on the next video. Thank you. So you can actually enjoy this soup or this soup recipe with um, your rice. You can also enjoy it with any swallow of your choosing. So don't just limit it to just swallow. You can enjoy this with other things as well. So let's just get into the potato. So in this video, because this is the first time I'm actually doing this recipe, this particular pounded potato recipe, I just used one. So if you tried it, if you try it and you like it, you can use as many as you want. This will also be a replacement for pounded yam. So just wash the 
um, potatoes and then cook it till it's very soft then you peel out the skin i'm sorry peel out the back of the potato after it's ready once it's soft then just use your mortar and pistol to pound it to a very soft um what will it be now soft texture i think i don't know english is failing me today i don't know why anyways i just used my um, food processor to just um mash everything mash everything up together to get a pounded texture i guess and when everything was done i served it and ate yeah so what you just see in this video is me just um blending it to get that soft um texture so once it's soft or you've gotten that pounded yam like texture you can serve this with the f4 reroll oh my god it was so nice guys i would really love you guys to try this recipe i would really appreciate it and please tag me on instagram at uluatob underscore king that's uluatob one rather underscore king please give this a go like this video share with your friends i mean subscribe we do good things here please thank you see you in the next one enjoy